This beginner's tutorial will look at different ways of viewing 3D objects and it will look at the transforms, translate or move, rotate and scale. The default blender scene consists of a camera, a cube and a lamp. Objects are selected using the right mouse button. If you want to select objects using the left mouse button, in the File menu, User Preferences, click the Input button and change Select Width to Left and Save User Settings. To delete the selected object, we can either use the menus in the Object menu, Select Delete, or we can use a keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut is X. With common operations, there may well be a button on the tool shelf. I'm going to press X on the keyboard and confirm. To add an object to the scene, go to the Add menu. I want to add a mesh object, a monkey shape. Note that the Add menu is now next to the Object menu. In older versions of Blender, the Add menu was next to the File menu. In the View menu, Toggle Quad View. The 3D View window is now divided into four. I'm going to zoom in in each sub-window using the mouse wheel. This sub-window views the monkey's head from the top. This sub-window views the monkey's head from the front. This sub-window views the monkey's head from the side, the right side. And this sub-window views the monkey's head at any angle. You can alter the angle by dragging, holding down the mouse wheel, which on my mouse acts as the middle mouse button. In Blender, the vertical axis is the Z-axis and is coloured blue. The two horizontal axes are the X-axis, which is coloured red, and the Y-axis, which is coloured green. This sub-window has the abbreviation PERSP, which is short for perspective, which means an object near to the viewer will appear large, and the same object far from the viewer will appear small. The other three sub-windows have the abbreviation ortho, which is short for orthographic projection, which sounds complicated but just means objects of the same size regardless of their position. To quickly show the difference, this sub-window is changed by the view menu if I change the view to the front, we now see the front of the monkey's head with perspective, whereas this sub-window shows the front of the monkey's head without perspective. If I drag on the tip of the green arrow, I can move the head forward and back. In the perspective window, the head gets bigger and smaller. In the non-perspective window, it stays exactly the same. Click the Object Properties button and set the Y location back to 0. Using a flat computer screen to place objects in a 3D scene is difficult. That's where the three orthographic projection windows are useful. The three basic operations or transforms are Translate, Rotate and Scale and there are several ways of doing each of them. Translate or Move for instance, an object can be moved by dragging on the tips of the coloured arrows. The easiest way to scale an object is to use the keyboard shortcut. To make the monkey's head larger, start with the mouse pointer near to the head Press S on the keyboard and drag to make the head bigger. The simplest way to rotate an object is to use the keyboard shortcut. With the mouse pointer in the right view,
press R on the keyboard and rotate the monkey's head so it looks like she is nodding yes. To rotate the monkey's head, this time to make it look like she is saying no, this time put the mouse pointer in the top view, press R on the keyboard and rotate back and forth. That's the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use Translate, Rotate and Scale to make a simple monkey man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.